Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Jackson, uh, for this great honor. And thank you very much for your recognition and support of the Cleveland Museum of Art. We so appreciate your being here with us this morning as we prepare to celebrate our 100th year. So good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Cleveland Museum of Art um, as we approach a significant milestone. Uh, the centennial of this august and ever-changing museum marks an occasion that demands a celebration that will last a full year. And that celebration began on New Year's Eve, and it has continued with such exhibitions as Monet to Matisse and Pharaoh, King of Ancient Egypt, uh, which is now on view in the Kelvin and Eleanor Smith Foundation Hall, downstairs just to my right. This morning, I am pleased to announce a host of new partnerships as I am to describe for you some of the major events of our summer season when the festivities with which we're planning to celebrate our centennial reach a real crescendo. Three visionary Clevelanders a century ago, John Huntington, Hinman Hurlbut, and Horace Kelly, made a gift to this city that each of us may enjoy to this day. An amazing museum, one of the finest anywhere in this country, with one of the finest collections of art anywhere in the world. A museum created for the benefit of all the people forever. In a city that had begun to emerge as one of America's leading manufacturing centers, our founders saw the need here in Cleveland for a world-class museum that would enrich the lives of its citizens for generations to come. And thanks to their generosity and to the do donation of an extraordinary piece of property by Jephtha Wade, this museum opened its doors on June the 6th, 1916. For a century, Clevelanders of all ages have explored the museum's galleries, learning from and enjoying art from every period and from every corner of the globe. Busloads of school children have arrived to expand their horizons. Art enthusiasts from all over the world have poured over the works in our collection. And in these uh, august surroundings, our community has come together. Our visitors have found joy and solace, and both here and in the Fine Arts Garden, couples have celebrated their marriage vows in the company of family, friends, and fine art. Today, the museum is a crucial component of a thriving arts community in our town, and it contributes to Cleveland and Northeast Ohio's social and economic well-being. It complements our burgeoning manufacturing, healthcare, and professional services sectors, and the museum and its programs enhance the quality of life in our region. As we celebrate our centennial year, we are proud to rededicate ourselves to our founder's mission in the service of this and future generations of Clevelanders. We also, of course, continue to build on the legacy of our founders, and today's Clevelanders have picked up the, mantles of, of the, the mantle of those who came before them, generously supporting the museum's recently completed $320 million expansion. That project, so visible uh, all around us, gave us a third more space to display the collection. It gave us new galleries for exhibitions. It allowed us to create our award-winning Gallery One, and it made possible the construction of this magnificent 39,000-square-foot Ames Family Atrium, which has become a major locus for public events. Today's museum is a global leader in digital initiatives. Uh, for example, our collection wall and our art lens app. Programming around the museum, mix, family days, parade the circle, the chalk festival, and so much more attracts thousands of people each year. With support from the Bidwell Foundation, we now have a foothold on the west side in the form of the transformer station. And programming there, and the ties that we've forged with our neighbors in East Cleveland, Fairfax, Collinwood, Glenville, and Huff, have enabled us to reach well beyond University Circle. As we embark on our next hundred years, we have tremendous momentum, and it is our goal to involve every Clevelander in our centennial. <laughs> 